Good morning, students. Welcome back to my class. English for University Admission Test Preparation. Still with me, Coach Ahmad Riwayadi. After we learned gerunds and infinitives in part one, now it's time for us to discuss the exercises. Question number one. Mother Teresa's followers intend blah 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 care of the poor of the poor. A taking. B to take. C have taken. D to have taken. To answer this question, we have to see the keywords that is intent. Intent must be followed by two verb one or two infinitive. So the correct answer for question number one must be Option B, to take. Mother Teresa's followers intend to take care of the poor of the poor. Question number two. Renaissance masters were able to complete commissions by blah, blah, blah assistance. A, employment of. B, having employed. C, employing. D, to employ. The key words from question number two is the words by, that is preposition. So, preposition must be followed by object of preposition in the form of verb ing or in the form of gerund. So, the correct answer for question number two must be option C, employing. Renaissance masters were able to complete commissions by employing assistants. Question number three. Blah, blah, blah and revisings are critical steps in creative writing. A. To edit. B. Having edited. C. Editing. D. To have edited. The key words from this question is the word and as parallel connectors and revisings. That is, uh, gerund as a subject. In the form of verb ing. So, blah 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 must be parallel with revising. So, blah 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 must be verb ing, gerund as a subject. So, the correct answer for question number three must be option C, editing. Editing and revising are critical steps in creative writing. Question number four. Jane Goodall prefers blah 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 alone among the chimpanzees of Kumbi National Park. A. Living. B. To have lived. C. To have been living. D. Live. The keywords from question number four is the word prefers. The words prefers must be followed by fucking gerund as an object. So the correct answer for question number four must be option a. Living. Jane Goodall prefers living alone among the chimpanzees of Kumbi National Park. Question number five. Amnesty International warns us blah 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 the victims of international terrorism. The keywords from question number five is the word once. And then followed by object. So blah 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 must be two for one or two infinitive. If it is negative, must be followed by not and then two for one or not two infinitive. So the correct answer for question number five must be option B, not to forget. Amnesty International won't ask not to forget. The victims of international terrorism. Question number six. Blah, blah, blah. The consequences of the final decision, the committee approved the proposal. A. To not realize. B. Realizing not. C. Not to realize. D. Not realizing. Well, students, question number six actually is not in the discussion of germs and infinitives, but in the discussion of participles. Well, 
to answer this question, we have to see the subject of this sentence. Did the subject do something or was the subject being done by something? In this sentence, the subject did something. It means active. So blah, blah, blah must be in the ing form. So the correct answer for question number six is option D, not realizing. Not realizing the consequences of the final decision, the committee approved the proposal. Well, students, we'll discuss more for question number six later on on the discussion of participles. Question number seven. Blah, 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 to be alone, Moni married his sister-in-law after the death of his wife. A. Not to want. B. Not wanting. C. To not want. D. To want not. Question number seven is similar to question number six. Actually, it is in the discussion of participles, not in the discussion of gerunds and infinitive. But to answer this question, we have to see the subject of the sentence, money. Did this subject actively do something or was this subject passively being done by something? In this sentence, money married his sister-in-law. It means money actively did something. So blah, blah, blah must be in the ing form. So the correct answer for question number seven is option B, not wanting. Not wanting to be alone, Moni married his sister-in-law after the death of his wife. Well, students, once again, we'll discuss question number six and seven in the discussion of participles later on. Question number eight. Language students need to practice in speaking, listening, and blah, blah, blah. A, written. B, to write. C, writing. D, write. The keywords of this question is the word speaking in the form of verb ing, gerund as an object, listening, also gerund as an object. Well, and is parallel connectors. It means the word after n must be in the ing form, gerund as an object. So the correct answer for question number eight is option C, writing. Language students need to practice in speaking, listening, and writing. Well, students, that is the end of our discussion this morning. Thank you very much for joining my class. And I will see you again for the next topic. Bye-bye.